Skull identification speedrun, ready, set, go. Pick up the tag, species name is covered up. I think it's a fish to check we count the number of bones in the skull. Seems like we got one in the top, one in the bottom, lots of teeth, but not enough to be a fish. Instead, let's look at the lower jaw. See how it's made out of one strong bone? That means that this is a mammal. Upper jaw time, oh, there's no canine teeth right here. So this can't be a skunk, badger, or a raccoon. Tilt it forward, only one row of incisors, so it can't be a rabbit either. Rearticulate this bad boy, see what we're working with. Huge gap between those back teeth and the front teeth. This right here is a row and based on its size, I say it can only be a beaver, marmot, nutria, or a porcupine. Tilt to the side, the postorbital process. This thing right here is very dull, so it can't be a marmot. Tilt it up, the paracipital process right here is very short, so it can't be a nutria, leaving only beaver or porcupine. Tilt it forward. Ooh, we got some big juicers right here. Look at those holes. This can only be Erythizin dorsatum, aka a North American porcupine. Let's freaking go!